It's the most intact pharaoh's tomb ever found and remains one of the most popular attractions in the world. At the heart of the Valley of the Kings, Tutankhamun's tomb has been fascinating visitors for a century. Excavators led by British archaeologist Howard Carter discovered it in November 1922, uncovering first some steps, then a door to an antechamber. Then after a year more digging, they came to a second door leading to a tomb. You can imagine their amazement when they slid a lamp into the hole and in its flickering light made out a room full of objects, each more beautiful than the next, all in a total mess. Nearly 5,500 priceless items were piled high around the young pharaoh's sarcophagus more than 30 centuries ago to accompany him to the afterlife. The archaeologists were captivated by the pharaoh's 10-kilo gold mask to the detriment of the mummy. In awe of the mask's beauty, Howard Carter went to great lengths to prize it off the mummy, in the process destroying its skull. A few months after the discovery, Howard Carter's financial backer died in Cairo. That was followed by the death of a businessman who'd visited the tomb and a radiologist who'd examined the mummy. The news fueled superstitions that Tutankhamun was taking his revenge for disturbing his burial place, the curse of the pharaohs. 100 years on, this face remains the most emblematic of ancient Egypt. But archaeologists still hope to find Ramses VIII, the sole pharaoh of the 20th dynasty whose tomb hasn't been identified. We found neither his tomb nor any of his funeral objects. So either he was buried in the Valley of the Kings or elsewhere. But we may still one day find him. Every archaeologist's dream to discover more hidden treasures as precious as those of Tutankhamun.